as well as the IK, uh, we've also got a, a, another set of animation controls, um, namely these constraints. Now we have looked at one of these constraints, the path constraint, when looking at the fish animation. To be able to animate the fish around a path, um, you know, a simple constraint. We're going to look at some of these other constraints. So uh, what I'll do is I'll look at them in order. So I'll start off with the position constraint. So the position constraint allows you to just um, affect the position of an object based on the position of another object. The normal link in the select and link what happens with this is that you are affecting all parts of an object. So, for example, if I was to just take, um, let's just say a dummy, and let's just take the sphere. Okay, I'll just align these uh, together. To pivot. Let's make this dummy a little bigger. Uh, I'm just going to select and link these. So, this parent object has complete control over every part of the other object. So, in terms of position, in terms of rotation, uh, even in terms of scale. It controls every single part of it. And sometimes you don't want that. Uh, you just want to be able to affect just the position or the rotation of a particular object based on the objects around it. So what I've got here is just a scenario where what I want is um, this ball to stay in the middle of these two boxes. And this is another thing that we can do with, with position constraints. We can actually not just constrain it to one object, which this allows us to do, but we can constrain it um, via a percentage to more than one object. So let's just have a look at this. So right now what I've got is uh, I'm able to just move these two objects up and down or around and I can actually change this little tight rope, essentially, um, can actually position that wherever we want it. And what I want to do is I want this ball to stay on the tight rope and stay always in the middle of these two objects. Um, just to explain what I've got on the ball quickly, as I mentioned in the lecture, it's, it's not always good practice just to um, link something in directly. So what I've got on this is just a point helper, which is being aligned to the base of the sphere on the z-axis and I've just linked this in using a normal selecting link so anywhere I move this point helper I'm just going to move the sphere I've done it from the base I've actually moved this down to the base before I actually uh, actually aligned this in or I actually linked it in because I want this to be the rotation point I want this, this to be the point on the tight rope so let's grab this let's just go into animation constraints and let's look at a position constraint. So, like with the other things we looked at so far, it brings out selection object, and I'm just going to select it over to this. So, uh, we we'll just pick one object right now. So, right now, if I move this control around, we're going to have complete control over the position of this object, not the rotation. So, it won't change the rotation at all. If I rotate this object, it doesn't do anything to the rotation of this object, purely just working on the position. If I Grab this uh, handle again, this point helper handle again, and I'm just going to go in my motion panel, which we should already be in, because we assigned that position constraint. Just make sure we're in our position, and just go down to our position constraint parameters. And what I'm going to do is just add another position target. So click on this, and click on my other one. You can see this evens this out, averages out in the center of these two objects. Uh, just make sure to click off add position target, and now, whenever I move these about, what it's trying to do is stay central to those two objects. Yeah? And it just moves it around, wherever we move that around, it constraints it between those two objects. Even if I move these up and down, still a positional change. So it stays really nicely on that tie rope. Um, so that could be quite useful in, in many applications. So that's position constraints.